This video tutorial provides advice to students that are intending to install and use the electronic strategy mind maps that I have created. First of all, students will need to download the electronic strategy mind maps from the Economics Network website and then extract the mind maps from the zip folder and I will show you how to do this. Your web browser and you type in Morris Starkian strategy then the top link that comes up is interactive mind maps for strategy if you click on that link that will take you to this page if you then scroll down the page um, there's the link to the MindJet Mind Manager viewer which we'll come to later but this is um, what we're interested in at the moment which is the zip file for the strategy mind maps version 1.4 so if you left click on the strategy mind maps we can download the strategy mind maps identify the folder that where you want to place the mind maps or place it in the my documents folder once you have completed that if you then go to the folder where you have downloaded the zip file to when you get to the folder you will see the strategy maps zipped file that you have downloaded if you then right click the zip file and then click extract all it will ask you where you would like the unzipped folder to be located if it's in the chosen location then click extract and you will notice the mind maps are extracted from the zip file so we now have a folder containing all the unzipped mind maps the electronic strategy mind maps are free to download from the economics network once you have downloaded the strategy mind maps you will then need to install the mind manager viewer um, the mind manager program uh, in order to view the content that I've created now this can be acquired from the mind manager website um, please remember that when you're installing the software you should be in the administrator account on your computer in order for the software to install properly you should also be aware that my manager is free to download uh, and use if your sole purpose for using the software is to view the content created by the people in this case if you're just intending to view the electronic strategy mind maps that I've created there is no need to pay for the software However, if you want to create your own content, if you want to create your own mind maps, then you will need to purchase the software. Uh, the software is fully functional for 30, 30 days, uh, after which you will need to purchase the software. For lecturers and students wishing to purchase mind manager software, you can purchase the software at a discounted price through mind Man manager education licensing program. So if we go back to the website, if you click on the link, you will then be taken to Mind Manager website. And so identify which is your computer operating system. Is it Windows or is it an Apple Macintosh computer? So download the appropriate version of the Mind Manager software for your computer. And remember to install it in administrator mode once the download is complete double click the download folder in order to install the mindjet mind manager program once you have installed mindjet mind manager uh, if you open the program and then go to uh, the file option at the top uh, click on options and in the general tab click enable my maps task pane and then click OK 
and then at the bottom right hand side of the screen you want to ensure that the show task pane tabs is also ticked and then that will enable you to see the my my maps task pane once you've added the my maps task pane you then want to add a shortcut to the folder so i'll now add a shortcut to the folder i downloaded so i click add folder And you can see that the strategy maps are located here. If you click the plus sign at the side of the strategy maps folder, it will open up um, all links to all of the mind maps in the strategy maps folder. And then you can click on a link and that will take you to a particular mind map. So one of the master mind maps is a strategy guide. So we'll click on that link and you can see that it opens the, um, the master mind map, um, a strategy guide. Uh, the current version in April 2020 is version 1.4. So as I've just shown you, you can open individual mind maps via the mind maps task pane. Um, however, this a guide to strategy, a strategy guide, is a master mind map. And what master mind map means is that it contains hyperlinks to all the mind maps uh, in the folder. And the master mind map is separated into individual strategy topics. So what is strategy, levels of strategy, um, if we click on the resource base view, it takes us to the mind maps relating to the resource base perspective. And we can click on individual mind maps to be taken to more detailed mind maps in the folder. There's also another master mind map for international strategy which I will show you shortly. So if you click on a circle that is at the side of a topic box, you can access, you can expand sibling fields. So I've just shown you the strategy guide and also there's the international strategy uh, mastermind map. Uh, if you click on a hyperlink at the side of the topic box, uh, you will be taken to more detailed mind maps if the hyperlink looks like that. It could also be a web page. Um, and so if you click on international strategy, that will open up the international strategy master mind map. And again, there's uh, links to further mind maps uh, in, in the folder relating to international strategy. These tabs at the bottom enable you to go back to previous mind maps that you've opened. You can also use the search tab, uh, which is one of the task panes on the right hand side of the screen. So at the moment we're in the mind maps task pane. If we go into the search task pane and then let's say we're looking for Dunning's eclectic paradigm, which is often the known as the OLI framework. So if I put in eclectic into the search box, and you can search in the current mind map for eclectic, but in this case, I want to search in the folder. So I'm going to select strategy maps because I'm looking in the folder for that term. And then if you click search, The program will then go through each mind map looking for occurrences of that search term. It's a bit like the index in the back of a textbook. It identifies the location 
of the term that you've placed into the search box. And you can now see, see that the search has completed and the, the eclectic paradigm is mentioned in a number of mind maps. Uh, but if you look, there's a specific mind map relating to the eclectic paradigm. So that is going to be the one that provides us with the most information on the term we're looking for. So if you click on the hyperlink that's presented there, it will open up the uh, eclectic paradigm explanation.